So this is the official Road to Ragnaros announcement. Holy cow, that is a big announcement. Uh, Road to Ragnaros trailer. Oh, okay. So this is the World of Warcraft Road to Ragnaros cinematic trailer 2021. The ultimate hardcore challenge. Official new trailer. Wait. 16 years have passed since mortals first stood united against the might of the Fire Lord. Now the might of heroes must rise again to face this elemental threat. The drums of war thunder once again. Okay. The classic war hardcore community presents. That could be you! Wait. Oh shoot, an actual trailer! Dude, look at all these low levels. Look at all these low levels, man. This is like a, this is as far as most people will make it, guys. Let's be honest. Yeah, that that's the extent of most people's uh, levels. Yeah. Road to Ragnaros hardcore. Dude, this guy's blasting. Good. This is like well made. Uh oh. These guys are blasting. They're gearing up, man. Mortal insects, you dare trespass into my domain? Your arrogance will be burned in living flame. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, shoot. Wolf to Ragnaros. God damn. That's actually a pretty cool trailer, though. That was not bad, actually. Rested XP, there it is, dude, there it is. Rag won't die. I mean, that's the that's the, the whole thing about it being a challenge, right? Like it's 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 it's, it's a challenge, right? And um, it's gonna be interesting to see w whether or not like people can do it and stuff like that, right? And uh, and yeah, let's read the actual announcement though. That that was the trailer, guys. If you guys want to see the trailer, I will link it in the chat. Um. Okay, let's read this real fast though, okay guys, let's read this. Today, the classic hardcore community has uh, four major announcements to share with y'all. The first is to formally announce uh, the most ambitious project yet, the next evolution of the hardcore game mode, and the historic collaboration that we liked we've never seen before, the road to Ragnaros. On the SOM Fresh, we will form the world's first raiding guilds on both NA and EU. On November the 16th, thousands of players will come together in the United to the ultimate goal, uh, ultimate global war effort, attempting to kill Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, with one life. Death equals delete. Nobody knows if this challenge is possible. Blizzard has buffed Molten Core significantly, doubling the HP of all the bosses, as well as adding new mechanics that nobody has faced before. If you believe you have it, what it takes to make to level a um, mortal character to 60, farm your prebiz, farm your consumes, and show up in Molten Core, ready to die for the cause. 
We need your help. If we accomplish this mission, we are one massive step closer towards official One Life Hardcore Soul of Iron servers. Okay? That would be hype, I think. I would be a big fan of, like, actual hardcore servers. I think that'd be sick. The second announcement is premiering our new Road to Ragnaros cinematic trailer. That's the one we just watched. This trailer has been many months in the making and is full remake of the original 2004 trailer we all fill in love with. This trailer is narrated by the legendary World vanilla World of Warcraft game designer Kevin Jordan, who made all nine classes plus talent trees and a stunning machinima crafted by Platinum WoW. Hey, I like that guy. We sincerely hope you guys enjoy it and get a taste for what our community is all about. We've sounded the horn of Gondor and figureheads from all around the community and stepping up to meet this unprecedented challenge um, in what we likely uh, is the biggest collaboration uh, the classic space has ever seen. Some of these classic WoW adventures include Gusu. Hey, that's me. Yo, I'm first. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're first. Stay safe, Joker, Silver, Grace for Days, Death Camp, Maldorian, Cargos, Bobka, Esquire, Sarth, Krix, Parla, Tactis, so Tommy Salami, Ampi, North, Frosted Amos, Gorthex, No Hit Jerome, Fake Cutie, Brands, Meta Goblin, Ebon Flow, Statics, Satar, Jaman, Snaggy Box, Elodor, Esimus, Blessed, Blood and Wow, uh, <laughs> The Renosaur, Apricot, uh, Mincy, Linked Craig, Snaggy Box, uh, Elodor, Esimus, Blazed, Blood and Wow, uh, Apricot, Mincy, Linked Craig, Okay, it's uh, Riley, Winky, Solheim, LMGD, <laughs> Dokken, uh, Desi Heat, Ross, Mr. GM, Stino, Nom Nom, uh, Dovsky, Nano, Alanya, Sarand, Hosho Jones, Tej, Tuna Tornado, and many more. As you can imagine, this is a motley crew of Classic Uau enthusiasts all playing together the same server will, will produce a lot of epic gamer moments. Okay, let's... <laughs> Let's hope it's the good epic gamer moments, um, not the other kind, right? Uh, you can expect comedy, passion, drama, tragedy, and so much more on the road to Ragnaros, coming to cable television near you. There it is, guys. This leads to our third major announcement, uh, which is our new Hardcore Fantasy League. This exciting new league, superheaded by Stay Safe TV, is bringing the world of fantasy sports to World of Warcraft Classic, and now you... The people watching this draft can write up a fantasy team of your favorite hardcore streamers. Based on their performance in the uh, in the event, your team will gain points and your overall team score um, can win such prizes as the hardcore merch, custom digital artwork, power gum, rested XP guides, and much juicy bragging rights. So it's basically like a... Um, you guys know in football? You guys know football? Um, basically where you, you, you kick the ball and stuff like that. They have like fantasy leagues where you can pick a team and a bunch of players who think it's going to score goals and like who you think is going to like get the most points. You can basically bet on streamers, not with money, but just like bet on them to see like who you think would get the most. So like obviously you would pick Gusu, you would pick um, Stay Safe, you would pick uh, Snacky Box, whoever you would want to pick. And like if your team of picked streamers get really good points, then you would win prizes basically, right? Um, so yeah, here are the basic rules. Oh, they're going to explain it now. Why did I just explain it if they're going to explain it now, huh? You will select one streamer from each tier. There are five experience tiers and one wildcard tier. Tier 1 streamers are the least skilled when it comes to hardcore leveling. Tier 5 are the most skilled, and wildcard streamers are there to keep things spicy. Each time one of your streamers gain a level, your team gains one point. And each time one of your streamers completes a new dungeon for the first time, your team gains five points. Additionally, one of your streamers hit level 60 on day 4, you will gain 400 bonus points. 40. Day 5, you gain 30 bonus points. Day 6, you gain 20 bonus points. And if they hit 60 on day 7, you get 10 bonus points. If one of your streamers dies, their hardcore character is deleted and you will lose all your points they've earned. They will restart at level 1 with 0 points for your team. And they will have until the end of week 3 time frame to get as high as they can. Stay alive and earn your fantasy points for you. So basically, guys, in summary, if you want to win this fantasy draft, pick me. Because I will literally not die. And I'm fast as hell. I am so flipping hecking fast. Pick me if you want to win. Pick me, guys. Seriously. Final, um, finally, on the fourth and the final announcement of the day, the new and improved Hardcore Companion add-on. This 2.0 version of the Hardcore add-on has been months in development and will make it so Hardcore players won't have to stream and record their runs anymore. As long as they have the add-on installed, this is amazing. Because I know a lot of a lot of people that don't are not, not that are not streamers and don't like they don't want to stream, but they want to do hardcore. They have to stream to get it verified. So now you don't have to stream or do anything. 
to be verified. You can just have the add-on and you'll be verified, basically. Um, everybody participating in hardcore guilds moving forward will be required to have this add-on installed if they wish to be verified in the halls of legends and graduate in the road to rank 60 guilds. This improved add-on offers our hardcore community full accountability of players. It disables auction house, mailbox, uh, resurrection, bubble hearth, and monitors all your characters' data, including trades and party. If you do get to max level and want your run to be verified, you can export a data string from the add-on on the site classic and it will read directly and verify automatically. There are also a few other awesome features, including grief alerts. So if you target anything PvP flag, such as hunter, pet, ally, you will both see and hear the alert to warn you. There's also an accountability window where you can ensure everybody in the community has the add-on installed. Names highlighted in green are those with the add-on installed and those in red do not have it. This add-on will also announce uh, in a Hunger Games, Squid Game style when people die as a red warning. This ultimate creates a fun feeling and intention of danger. And we would like to quickly shout uh, out our development team who has been working so hard for this uh, blender, Raisuku, Yespat, uh, Stain, Saran, and our technical uh, lead, Navak. I think this is sick. I, I like this. So the hardcore community would like to extend its sincere thanks to all of its mods, run verifiers, and active members of the community who have supported us and helped us grow this game into what it is today. We also would like to extend our sincere thanks to, to the Blizzard, such as Josh Allen, Devolore, who has, gone us, uh, who has gone to bat for us and helped us garner official Blizzard support for hardcore in the game through the Soul of Iron buff. We hope you guys are stoked for the Road of Ragnaros starting November the 16th. That is actually... I'm hyped for this, guys, okay? I've, I've been saying this for a while, but, like, the whole, like, hardcore thing with, 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 with Fresh and, and Season of Mastery has been the main reason why I've been excited to play Fresh and stuff like that, because... It's it's sort of like giving like a new um, it's giving me like a, a like a new reason to really try it out right to like try to hardcore let's go for road to rack and everything like that it's it's been sick so this will be exciting right having everybody this is why also like I talked about like I, it will probably be smarter if I do go on the server where everybody is playing because I will be able to play with all these people and like you know do dungeons with them like it's cool and it, I think it's sick right I'm actually like really hyped for that. Like, we can play together, like, everybody's gonna be on the same server, we're gonna do dungeons together and stuff like that, and it's gonna be super, super fun, right? I'm very hyped for it, for sure, dude.